couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to make some cloth wipes. And let's be honest, we should probably all be working on using less single-use items. So, in that vein, this video is going to show you how to make reusable paper towels, or unpaper towels. And it's going to be super easy. I'm going to give you a couple of options depending on how easy you want it to be and how inexpensive. Hi, I'm Nikita. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nikita and welcome to my channel where this is what I do. I drink and I sew things. Today I am drinking a Guinness. <laughs> it's almost St. Patrick's Day so I feel like it's a good time for this. And my bottle opener is so happy about it too. Woo! We already know I'm an aggressive porter, right? Whoops. I definitely think that Guinness tastes better out of a can, but I mean, it's still good, right? While that takes a moment to settle, let's talk about what you need. The supplies that you're going to need are going to depend on a couple of things. First, how inexpensive do you want this to be? Because if you already have extra dish towels extra hand towels or bath towels that you're not using or are just kind of getting a little bit grungy but still work. Or maybe you want to go out and purchase some new ones. Ooh, just refill my Guinness here a little bit. And two, how easy do you want this to be? I'm going to show you how to make these reusable paper towels with actual towels, which is going to be a little bit more involved. There's more cutting and stuff. And then I'm going to show you how to make them with dish towels, which is like Shisha dish challenge, <laughs> which is like two seams, and then you're done. And third, aesthetic. As we know, aesthetic is so important to me, right? So, one option, you can see this towel is uh, getting a little bit frayed here, but it's still good, it still absorbs stuff. So, if you're going to be using old hand towels, old bath towels, or brand new ones that you go and purchase, these will be very absorbent because terry cloth is very absorbent. You are going to need hand towels or towels, and you're also going to need some flannel to go with it. Standard paper towels are 11 inches by 11 inches or 11 inches by five and a half inches because now they're making like these half paper towels. What the heck? So what you need to do is cut a 12 inch by 12 inch square of towel if you are doing a full paper towel or a 12 inch by six and a half inch piece of towel. You are going to cut flannel the exact same size as you cut towel pieces. You're going to cut one piece of flannel for every piece of towel that you have. And I guess this should go without saying, you should have the number of towel pieces that you want is the number of unpapered towels that you're going to have. Next, you're going to put the flannel and the towel right sides together. You are going to pin or clip around the edges and then you're going to sew them together, putting your needle down and your presser foot up and pivoting at each corner. Don't forget to leave a three inch-ish gap so that then you can turn the whole thing right side out, making sure to poke out the corners with either your finger or a pin. Now to close that hole, you need to tuck the ends inside and then you can either top stitch just straight across that opening and call it good, or if you want a little bit more of a professional look and you want the edges to be a little more tough and durable, go ahead and top stitch around the whole thing. Now, our other option, which is the one I'm going to be doing most of my unpapered towels for, is, what? is taking a dish towel and you are going to put it right sides together, like so. After this is right sides together, we're going to clipboard pin around these two edges. This is the open edge. This is the folded edge. Leave this side open because we are not going to sew right here. We're going to sew along this edge and this edge using a half inch seam allowance and a straight stitch. I sewed just on the inside of this finished edge here because it's I don't know, a little bit more than a half inch and I didn't really want to sew through it. But because there's so much, I'm going to go ahead and use my fabric scissors slice it off. Oh, that corner is hard to cut through. Okay, now you have this nice little bag. Turn it right side out. Not like it matters right side out because like it's a towel, but you know. Poke out the corners with your finger. Needle breakage does happen sometimes. I've been using this needle for a while too, so that probably doesn't help. 
but especially when sewing through terry cloth or this like kind of thicker fabric if you go too fast or you know the needle hits wrong or you know whatever it can definitely break a needle so be careful with that i feel like this is the perfect time to take a drink break Now, the journey continues. After you have turned it right side out and poked out those corners, now we need to close this opening. You can, if you want, just stitch straight across here, but what I'm going to do is tuck the ends inside about a half of an inch, which is our seam allowance. Make sure that you clip or pin these together. They might be difficult to pin since it's like four layers of fabric, but do your best. Be super cognizant of this super pokey outy end right here because it's really thick. This will definitely break some needles if you're not careful. So to remedy that, you can chop off these extra corners here. That will definitely help. I did not do that, probably should have. You can also sew to the edge here and then stop and not sew over this extra bit or you can go really slow, use the hand crank on your sewing machine, or even put in a heavy duty needle and that will help. So let's go sew this closed. We're gonna sew using a quarter inch seam allowance-ish to make sure that we capture both layers and can close it all the way. Ah. I did not use a matching thread, you know, I'd be able to see, because, well, I don't care about this project. <laughs> If it's some matching thread or not, because they're just going to be using paper towels. So if you do care, maybe you're making these to sell or making them for yourself and you just want it to be all matchy matchy, the aesthetic thing we were talking about before, then use a matching thread so it'll disappear. Now the reason that I'm folding these in half is because I have made on paper towels before and like I've bought some before and they just aren't super absorbent. So. These are two ply with dish towels designed to be absorbent. <laughs> so they may be a little bit thick, but I kind of like that. You may also notice that these are a little bit large. So if you want a smaller, more of that half size paper towel thing, take your dish towel, fold it in half, like so. Now take this folded side. We're gonna have the folded side towards us. We're just gonna slice along that fold. So it makes two. Then we're gonna take our half towels and we are going to place them right sides together. And sew along two of the sides, leaving one side open, just like before. Then we'll turn it right side out and stitch along the side and you'll have a paper towel that is half size. If you're using, well, towels, dish towels, it doesn't matter. I might recommend cutting off these thick finished edges and these thick corners. That'll make it easier for your needle to go through. So before I finish sewing this little half towel, I'm just gonna slice this sucker right off. And then I'm gonna have a drink of my favorite beer. Ooh. Now we got a couple towels done. Cheers to you. And when it comes to storing them to be ready for use, you can fold them up, keep them on your counter, just like so. Ta-da. Or you can use this handy dandy little tool and some snaps. You can put snaps on them, which I will show you how to do right now, so that they can snap together and you can roll them up and put them on a paper towel holder. Oh. So the kit I got came with these clampy thingies. It also came with some other tools, including an awl, which is a pointy, sticky thing, so that you can make a hole in order to get these pieces in. The ones I bought originally that came with this tool just have white snaps. I've used them for years. They've worked wonderfully. This is a new colorful pack that I got. I will link both of them in the description just in case you're interested. So you're gonna need four of these and two of each of these. Okay, let's start by stabbing a hole in the top and bottom of one side. So let's start on one side. I'm gonna go from the back and take one of my flat pointy ones, go through the hole that I made, and then choose either the inny ones or the outy ones, it doesn't matter. But you need to make sure that you use the same one for both on the same side. I'm gonna place that on top and just put it right on the hole like that. Now take your tool 
and you're going to slip it around so that the black flat part is on the back with the flat part of your clasp. And then you're going to hold it and squeeze, making sure that your clear part is squishing down right on top of the snap. And once you squeeze, this is what happens. Now that we've done that one, we're going to do the exact same thing, making sure that we're using the same snap type, so this is the any one, and it is facing the same direction, that's very important. Now I'm moving to the opposite side, and we are going to use the opposite snap type, so these are the Audi ones, and they are going to be facing the opposite direction. So I'm gonna put the flat part in the top now, instead of the bottom. Place my snap on. Ooh, if I can get that on, there we go. Be careful, they like to move. And I'm going to do the same one down below. The reason that they're facing the opposite direction is so that they can make this little loop, not with each other, but with other paper towels. If they were on the same side, then it would just be like this, but we want them to roll up. So that's why they go on opposite sides. So I'm gonna place my first paper towel on top, I'm gonna line up these edges a little bit because I want these to be in the same spots so that they match up. Ooh, that corner didn't get poked out. I want them to match up when I'm putting them on the paper towel roll. Now that I've used it as a template, I can set it aside. I know that it's a little bit time consuming, but this is why we do it. Then we can clip these together. Once we get a nice string of them going, you can even add a third snap in here so it keeps them together just a little bit more. I like to place a couple fingers here to help give me a start on my roll and it also gives me a little bit of space so that after it's all nice and rolled up, there's space here so that it can be put onto a paper towel holder. And there you have it. Go in green one sewing project at a time. So go forth clean up all of your messes, and don't forget, there's no use crying over spilled beer. Just pour yourself another one. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and then stick around so that you can drink along and sew along with me on my next video. Thanks for watching.